Hello everyone, in this video we will show you detailed information about the Altai main battle tank. In 2009, Otokar started the work in design and development project for Turkey's first original main battle tank, Altai. It was appointed by the Under Secretariat for Defence Industries after the Turkish land forces had a need for a modern main battle tank. On 15th November 2012, there was a ceremony for the Altai's first prototype, and in 2013, the prototype development and qualification activities were started after mobility and fire tests with the pre prototypes. The system qualifications and acceptance testing is currently underway with PV1 and PV2 which has been produced at this stage as the final prototype. Now let's take a look at the technical specifications of Altai. Altai tank has four crew members and these are tank commander, gunner, driver and loader. Altai has MTU produced 1500 horsepower engines and a transmission system to meet the desired performance in all kinds of terrain and is also equipped with a 120mm 55 calibre smoothbore gun as the main weapon. This can use many different types of ammunition. The new generation fire control system developed by Aselsan to control the main weapon and weapon systems allows Altai to shoot moving targets with a high hit rate. Altai is also equipped with a remote controlled stabilised weapon system and a 7.62mm machine gun that is mounted coaxially with the main gun system. Otokar and Roketsan designed different types of armour to protect against threats in the battlefield. Therefore, Altai will have CBRN defence elements to protect crews from chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear weapons. Altai will be equipped with Akkor, the active protection system developed by Aselsan and also a life support system additional mine protection kit, auxiliary power group, laser warning system and 360 degree situational awareness system for high survivability against all threats. Altai will come into prominence with superior firepower, high mobility and survivability features and has a high tech command and control system that provides processing and dissemination data on the battlefield and command posts and alarms to be produced in accordance with the use of all elements of combat. Altai will be using the German MTU company engines for the first batch of production, but Tumosan is continuing its efforts to raise indigenous power groups. The power group is expected to continue development work for four and a half years and serious production planning to be started in 2020. Otokara Spitfire was presented to the Under Secretariat for Defence Industries for the production of 250 tanks and their integrated logistics support which concern activities in the Altai project with the system qualification and acceptance testing that is still ongoing. With the series production contract that expects to be signed this year, 250 Altai tanks will be produced and delivered. We have come to the end of the video in which we hope to make some clarifications about the Altai project. You can ask any questions you may have in the comments below. To watch our other videos, you can click on the links on the screen and subscribe to our channel to be informed about our new videos. See you in the next video.